Yes, ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? It's Egal Talks Football. We're back again with another video. Arsenal just finished their second preseason game of the pre their second official preseason game, and we just beat Manchester United over uh, in 90 minutes, 2-1. And of course, we also lost in penalties. But let's get into everything that you need to know. First of all, let me talk about Man United because they scored the opening goal. They were the first team to score. They came in and within 10 minutes, uh Rasmin Hoyland found himself in a situation where he was one-on-one -on -one against one of our defenders and he kind of bullied him, got himself in a position and scored uh, a very, very like rugged goal in, in the first 10 minutes. But then, of course, unfortunately for him, he then went off injured in the 16th minute uh, of the game. So quickly, Man United went from scoring a goal, getting a lead to, miss it, uh, to losing one of their be better players on the pitch and one of their more senior players on the pitch. 16 minutes into the game and then 35 minutes into the game they dropped uh they lost another player due to injury Lenny Euro and that kind of changed the game Arsenal were the much more dominant team uh, after that Arsenal were the much more dominant team for majority of the game after Man United scored we completely controlled the game from there and if I'm not mistaken we scored our goal in the 26th minute now the goal that we scored in the 26th minute was slightly controversial uh as as <laughs> Because it's uh, because there's there's no VAR, the goal was actually offside. Let me show you guys the goal. Let me show you guys the goal. By the way, Ethan Nawari, uh, Ethan Wanari, Ethan Wanari, uh, that's how you pronounce his name. Sorry, I'm still trying to figure out how to pronounce this guy's name properly. Ethan Wanari crossed the ball into Gabriel Jesus, and as you can see, he is offside. But you know what? It it still counts. As, as they as they didn't the linesman didn't notice it so this was the opening goal for Arsenal Gabriel Jesus slots it away uh, in, in the far post from Ethan Noari cross and it's unfortunate that it, that it was offside but you know what it still counts so that was that was the opening goal and that's where Arsenal got their opening goal from and just just to point out some players that started the game and what the starting lineups were and how I thought the starting uh, how how, the, how I thought the teams went in with the with the with the starting lineups and everything else i thought it was quite decent if you if you look at the team we had a mixture of youth and a mixture uh, a mixture of experienced players you had ben white uh heaven timber zinchenko waneri uh Jorginho, Odegaard, reese nelson jesus and trossard and i thought once again once again waneri was 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 one of those players that was standing out Heaven, of course, con uh, conceded the goal with Rasmin Hoyland. Needs to get a little bit more, more physically built, but he is still very young. If I'm not mistaken, how old is he? He's 17 years old, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm not gonna put it put him down too much. He's still he's still getting up there. And you know what? I think one thing that we learn about this uh, this uh, this uh, preseason is that Arteta is going to give guys like Winery more opportunities. They're going to get more opportunities for the foreseeable future. I think he had a great. I thought he had another good preseason game, and I think that he is going to get a lot of opportunities in in the FA Cup, in the League Cup. I wouldn't be even surprised if he gets some games here and there where he comes off the bench late in games in the Premier League. I really do believe he is going to get a big opportunity this season, and he's probably going to be that one academy youngster that we have that is coming through that's going to get a lot more run than everybody else now. Before before we go any further, do me a favor. It is like 4 a.m. right now. I'm still doing this video, so I need you guys to do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button while you guys while you guys are here, right? That that would help me out massively. And then we need to talk about the winner. The winner, of course, it was Gabriel Martinelli coming off, uh, coming on, to, uh, coming on to the pitch and making a massive difference. Gabriel Martinelli came on. He ripped two Man United defenders and scored the ball near post, coming off from coming off from that left hand side. He came on and he made a massive difference, instant impact immediately. He was subbed on. I think it was in like the seven. Uh, what minute was he subbed on? Seventy first minute. Ten minutes later, he scores the winner. That that's what that's what he does. And once again, I just want to talk about some of the performances that that we've seen in that second half. Some good performances that we've seen from the likes of academy players like uh, Salah. By the way, Salah is somebody to look out for. Salah is going to have have a a, a, a good future in at the top level as a professional. Salah, I thought, is another guy who 
this this preseason has made more people notice about uh, about this kid. This kid Salah, he is going to get uh, an opportunity to show people what he's made of. He's 20 years old. He he's Dutch, uh, and of course, uh, and of course, he did. We did sign him uh, at a young age, so he's part of Arsenal's academy. But the thing is, when he came on, he was making a big difference. He was doing. He was he played for 45 minutes. But I felt like every time he touched the ball, he looked uh, stupendous. He was making some good long passes, passing to the final third. He, he was doing everything that he needed to do, and I thought he was solid for that for those game uh, for those minutes that he played. Also, another guy that I thought was quite solid was Ma Miles Lewis uh, Skelly. I thought Miles Lewis Skelly was really really good, and he also helped. Uh, he was also a part of Martinelli's goal. He kind of just gave him the ball, but it counts as an assist. So another assist. For our two Arsenal Academy players got assist today, both Miles Lewis Skelly and of course um, Ethan uh, Ethan Wanari. Uh, Miles Lewis Skelly, I think he's going to get his Premier League debut this season, and he's going to get a big opportunity. Yeah, big opportunities coming ahead of him. He looks like a gem, so we're going to have to wait and see what happens there. But I just thought Arsenal were levels above Man United for majority of the game. Of course, due to injuries, but also we just we just had. A much uh we just had a much better drill team we kind of knew what we were doing more we did have a mixture of, uh, of of what do you call it the the first team players like thomas Partey, like Jorginho, like Odegaard, like gabriel magales like gabriel jesus and these guys in the team to help the youngsters but it definitely did show the they definitely did show the quality of some of these youngsters so that's why i wanted to shout out Waneri, shout out my uh, lewis skelly even though we conceded the goal from heavens uh Shout out heaven. I thought Josh Nicholas did. He sh he locked up uh, Sancho when when Sancho when Sancho came on, and Partey much better performance from Partey in the second half. And overall, it's the second preseason game, and I thought you know what these guys did well. I was I was a little bit concerned how we were going to do with a, a lot of our first team players, but we had enough first team players to take on this Man United team, and we looked levels above them. You can see that the class was raining through. And funny enough, <laughs> uh, uh, do you guys remember a year ago when when Man United when Man United what do you call it um, when Man United uh, beat us in a preseason game? You had you had Eric Ten Hag saying we don't do friendlies. Well, I don't really banter during friendlies, but you guys can hold that this time. You can hold that this time because because we beat you guys in regular time. Now, there was a penalty shootout, and that penalty shootout did not go so well. <laughs> it did not go so well. We can be honest. Put our hands up. We won over. We won the game during the 90 minutes, but in the penalty shootout, we missed two. Uh, we we missed uh, we messed up two penalties. KVR's penalty went completely. Uh, to the to the to the uh, to the uh, uh, to the right hand side, and and missed the goal completely. And Kai Havertz had one of his penalties saved from Onana, so the Manchester United won the penalty shootout three to four, but we won the game two one in 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 full time. So we we got our we got a we got our win. We got our lick back. And yeah, overall, some players some players they need to improve. Uh, some some players need to improve, get their match fitness up, get themselves ready for the regular season, and we're we're definitely putting Carl Hein in the shop window as he's played another ninety minutes in goal. So this is going to be an opportunity for teams that are interested in him to see if they want him and they can have him uh, uh, after after this preseason. And yeah, overall, I thought Manchester United. I thought you you know what. They're still, they're still, they're, they're just the beginning of their rebuild. So you could, you could, uh, not much, neg not, neg I can't say too many negatives about Man United. All I got to say is, you know what, they, they, they're working progress. They're, they're starting a new rebuild with, with Eric Ten Hag and all these new players and all the young players that they're trying to bring through. They did play a lot, a lot more minutes to the academy players than we did because, if I'm not mistaken, Hannibal was subbed on after, after Raspin got injured. You also had another, uh, that, Young center back Bennett was subbed on for a Euro once they got it once they got injured. So they played a lot more youngsters than we did. But hey, no excuses for them. You guys lost. Hold the L and Arsenal, another great preseason performance. Overall, I think we, we're gonna see some of these preseason performances uh give Arteta a lot more thinking of, uh, when it comes to those FA Cup, League Cup games on how many academy players he might actually give an opportunity to. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a lot more academy players in, uh, in involved in the team once 
the those cup games come around. But yeah, that's it for now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'm out of here, people. Catch you guys on the next one. I'm quite tired. <laughs> Peace.